So a customer brought in these old pieces of trim and you can see a lot of gummed up paint on it so you don't see the profile as well as you probably should because these trims are probably in the labor of 80 years old and maybe have four or five coats of paint on them. So we're gonna prepare them and we're gonna make templates that uh, match the profile and then we're gonna grind a knife. So we're just gonna heat the corners up there a bit, get the paint blistering. Paint's quite thick, so sometimes it takes a while to get a blister. Then we turn the low torch off. Then we take some of our files, and you'll see we'll peel the paint off. We want to peel the paint off without interfering with the actual profile of the wood. You can't heat it up too much, or you lose the profile. You can't scrape it. You can see how many layers of paint are on there that we're taking off. Now you get a true picture of what the profile originally looked like when it was installed. We take acrylic and we cut the appropriate size template. We take the protective layer off the sheets. And I'm prepping for two templates here. And then we're gonna mark these templates, what we call axial constant. So we always cut the templates in the same manner so that the computer on the machine knows exactly where the template is. And we're putting a score mark at 20 millimeters up from the edge on both of them. And then we put a horizontal baseline on at a fixed point for all of our profiles. So now we have two templates that are marked axial constant and ready for tracing. So this profile, so we're gonna be putting this profile on like so. We're gonna etch it onto the um, template and then we're gonna cut it out using um, band saw, hacksaw, and a bunch of different files. So we have cleaned the customer's wood off and we have cut a template that lines up with the profile that they brought in for us. We've done that for two moldings for this client and we have both lined up and ready to go. From here we are gonna put steel in a head. So these are our heads that grind the profiles. So we put this corrugated steel into a head. The head goes on the grinding machine, which you'll see in a few minutes. And we cut the template um, and turn it into a knife. The corrugated steel comes in 24 inch long bars. And the corrugation allows it to fit securely in those heads. So you'll see the corrugation there. And it slides into a head that has that opposite end corrugation on it and they just lock together so the knife can't come out. Then uh, we cut the blanks and we make sure that the blanks are exactly the same weight. So when these heads are spinning at 8,000 RPMs and they weigh 100 and some pounds, balance is very important, like balancing a car tire. So we want to make sure that the uh, knives are exactly the same weight. This guy's 257.8 and this is just an example for you. And this one's 258.1. It's a used one, so before this gets used again, it'll get cleaned and we'll grind and make sure they're exactly the same um, weight. This is our grinding machine here. And the head's gonna sit in here, the template's gonna sit here, and we're gonna grind the knife on a head, and then we'll make the product for the customer. So it's a long, complicated process. And, uh, but we can duplicate anything people have in terms of moldings or railings and get them exactly what they want.
the head with the knives and the Thank you.